Yo, what's up? It's Yuzhen Tang. Welcome to episode number two of Super Simple Python. Today we're going to be uh, going over how you can create a contact list or how you can add a contact to your contact list in a JSON file. So all we're going to do here is we're going to start by importing a JSON file and then we're going to let's uh ooh, okay i'm going to use this to introduce a function so we'll do save file even though this this file is not going to do much we'll, we'll introduce it so uh we'll do contact and we'll expect a dictionary and then we'll do file name and we'll expect a string so this format right here contact colon dict file name con string that just tells the uh python uh the the the, the program that this contact should be a dictionary and the file name should be type string. And this is not strictly like necessary. You don't have to do this. You could just, you know, have this, but I just wanted to illustrate a point here. Okay. So with open file name, a, so a is append. Um, so which means that if the, uh, file doesn't exist, um, we are going to create it. And if it does, we're going to append to it. Uh, contact F. Yep. Okay. So now let's, let's get it. So, uh, let's do our input. So let's do name and that'll be input. What is your contact name? And then, uh, let's do email input. What is your contact email? And then we'll do phone number equals input. What is your contact's phone number? And then we'll do relationship. Relationship. What is your relationship with the contact? Oh, equals. And then we'll just do, uh, we'll make a contact object. And we'll just do name is name, email is email, phone is phone, oops, sorry, phone is phone, relationship, relationship is relationship. Okay. And then we'll just do save file. Uh, so we're calling the function that we created earlier. And we'll save the contact, and our file name will be contact.json. So let's run this Python JSON contact list. So let's say my contact list is, uh, we'll go with Tom Brady. I like that guy. He's a good athlete. The goat, uh, what's your contact email? I don't know what his email is. Maybe it's tb12 at tb12.com. You know, what's his phone number? Uh, we'll just go with uh, 777-7777. And what's your relationship with the contact? Uh, we'll just say I'm friends with Tom Brady. Um, all right, cool. So we've got one entry here, right? We got Tom Brady. We got his email. We got his phone. Got his relationship. All right, let's let's run it again just to show you that you know you can continue to add to your contact list. Let's go with Taylor Swift. I love Taylor Swift. Um, what's her email? I don't know. Probably like tswizzle at taylorswift.com. And what's her phone number? I don't know. One two three one two three four. And what's her relationship with the contact? Let's say I'm friends with Taylor Swift too. And now we can go check out contacts and we can see that, oh, look, I've added Taylor Swift to here too. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to creating a contact list that persists in your JSON. Um, and yeah, so thanks for watching. If this was helpful for you or if you liked it, please give me a like, give me a subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.